all right so today's session is going to be on a slightly advanced topic from the chapter of section of line here we are going to find the trace of a line if it is uh, at a certain angle with hp and vp both right so uh, if, if you really want to understand from a three dimensional perspective how to find a trace how does it look okay because trace is basically a point if you produce a line it meets the hp that point is a horizontal trace if it meets the vp that point is a vertical trace isn't it so you know this you know this by definition but have you seen this in reality have you seen this have you got a feel of it with the help of a 3d demonstration not yet so stay with me right till the end as we are unlock going to unlock this beauty of projection of lines okay so here we go let's read the question first so what we have is basically a line 80 millimeters long it makes an angle of 60 degrees with the horizontal plane full length is 80 and the angle that it makes with hp is 60 okay it lies in an auxiliary vertical plane the line itself lies in an auxiliary vertical plane which makes an angle of 45 degree with the vp now this is this statement is specifically meant to confuse you confuse you between two angles angle made with vp can be thought of in two ways either it could be phi or it could be beta let me just give you a very small demonstration okay angle made with hp it's either theta or alpha isn't it okay. at the same time the angle that the line makes with pp it could either be phi or and it could either be beta please note this over here this alpha is the angle made by the front view of the line beta is the angle made by the top view of the line. this over here this theta is the angle made by the true length of the line so let's just represent it by a dash b one dash and this is a b okay and if you read the question further it has been clearly stated that you have to draw the projections and determine the true inclination with the vp it has been given in the question that you have to determine the true inclination with vp that means you need to find this angle phi okay so once the top view is located this phi angle can be worked out okay once the true length is located below x y line the, this phi angle can be worked out so this beta has been given to you by the way 45 degrees right okay <clears throat> end a is 10 mm away from both hp and vp so distance of end point a from hp and that's distance of end point a from vp all other data angle made by the line with hp angle made by the top view of the line with vp and the true length of the line itself all of these data have been given now we'll simply make a partition line above which we have your vertical plane and below we have the horizontal plane the first thing that we'll do immediately is that I am going to fit these two dimensions. So it is a case of first quadrant H above and D below. Let me mark this A dash and A. Done. The next data that I am going to use is this true length, which is 80. Now true length has to be put up with some angle, and the angle is going to be theta. Please note phi is not given to us. This is something that we need to work out. If phi had been given to us then we would have marked 80 mm over here at that angle phi okay but so far we know that theta is given to us so at an angle of 60 degrees we are going to draw the true length of 80 millimeters is this done okay sir now what let me just go ahead now what we'll do is we are going to use this data this is the last data that we have beta is 45 degrees and students please note beta happens to be the angle made by the top view of the line a B. so we know the location of a we just don't know where b is but somewhere along this line over here where can find b okay by the way this is not b dash this is simply b right at an angle of beta let me draw a line of any random length let's do it okay 
So somewhere along this line, we'll have point B. That is going to give you A, B. Now, all the data have been exhausted. It is now our responsibility to apply the logic. The logic is simply project this point B1 dash until it meets the locus of A in top. B. This point over here is B1. Now, with A, B1 as radius and with A as center, let me rotate this. It is going to intersect this line somewhere and that is going to give you point B. Right? This is the locus of B in top. B. So far, so good. Okay. Now, what's next? You can simply draw a line from over here and you can simply say, sir, this over here is your point B. Yes, you can do that. That's a shortcut. And by the way, first of all, uh, if this is your top view, let me mark this AB. Okay. Now, another way of approaching this problem is keep one leg of your compass at A dash, other leg at B1 dash with that 80 millimeters as tool length with A center cut in half. This is your tool length. Okay. Yes. Now, you can simply take this B2 upwards. This is going to be B2 dash. And with A dash, B2 dash as the radius and with A dash as the center, you have to rotate it in the anti-clockwise sense until it intersects this locus of B in front view. This intersection point is point B dash. Absolutely straight. You can match it. Connect B dash with A dash. That is your final front view. So, uh, to be very honest, the projections are complete. However, in this problem, we have to go for traces also. I'll come to that. Okay. I'll come to traces part also. Is this clear to everyone? I hope it is. All right. Uh, <clears throat> the angle made over here, I think you guys should keep your compass, not compass, but protractors over here, and you can do the measurement. They should work out as 21 degrees. Okay. Now, as far as traces is concerned, if you really want to have a 3D look, a 3D representation, look here. Let me show you something. These are the projections of line. This is your top view. What we just made. This is your top view. Okay. And the angle it will make, you can work it out. This should be equal to 21 degrees. And this happens to be your front view. This is what we've made. Okay. So I've made a 3D arrangement. The line would look something like this. This is your line in reality. This is how it looks from the front. Okay. You can see this is your final front view. Uh, if I just change the perspective here, look at, look at it from the front over here. You'll see this white line and this red line are going to overlap, which justifies our point. Similarly, if you want to have a look at the top view, this AB represents your top view. Let us have a look. That's your top view. Wonderful. Okay. So far, so good. Now, I'm, I was talking about traces. What exactly is a trace? Uh, this is the end A of the line. That's the end B of the line. If the line is produced beyond end B, it is not going to intersect VP or HP. Agreed? Yes. I mean, if you produce this line beyond this point B, it is not going to intersect any principal plane. However, if you produce this line or extend this line beyond this point A in this direction, what you will realize is this. What you will realize is this. That on extending it beyond point A, it intersects the horizontal plane over here. And this intersection point is popularly known as the horizontal trace. If the trace is in HP, it's a horizontal trace. Similarly, if you extend it further beyond the horizontal plane or below the horizontal plane, since the line is positioned in such a way, it goes on and it intersects or intercepts, I don't know what the right word is, the vertical plane somewhere here. And this is known as the vertical trace. Okay, so a vertical trace is a point where the line intersects the vertical plane. Similarly, the horizontal trace is a point where the line intersects. On extending the line, it intersects 
the horizontal plane this is a 3d representation now how you, you guys can find these two points uh, that is something that i wish to explain right so by by now you, you you sort of have a good idea as to how this would look h and ht since they belong to the horizontal plane you can see it in the top view in the top view along this xy line you can find h and this over here this over here will give rise to ht in the same fashion in the front view in the front view you can see the vertical plane okay so v and vt will be in the vertical plane in fact in fact we only draw this vp and this hp however there is a vp below also below the partition line also and since we rotate this horizontal plane in a clockwise sense by 90 degrees this vertical plane below x y and this horizontal plane they sort of overlap right you will get to know this i hope this is clear by now okay now let me go back to the presentation and let's see how this can be worked out what we'll do is i am going to extend this red line this is the final front view it is going to intersect this x y somewhere here in the same fashion i am going to extend this line a b from a towards x y it is going to intersect x y somewhere here like this where the front view intersects x y let's call it by h small h where the top view intersects let's call it small v let's do this and let me pass two vertical lines like this somewhere along these two vertical lines i am going to find horizontal trace on this vertical line passing through h and a vertical trace on this vertical line passing through v okay so v and vt will be on a vertical line similarly h and ht will be on a vertical line that's the concept right okay point h how did you find point h sir on extending the front view okay so for ht you have to extend this top view where does the top view intersect yeah so this is your horizontal trace in the same fashion we show this to you this is your horizontal trace and similarly if you extend the top view you get point v and you draw a vertical line and along this vertical line you can locate the vt by extending the front view right exactly opposite to each other this is vt this is ht okay so that's it that was the entire description i think you should take a look at this diagram again right this is how it looks from the front v and vt okay this is 3d and this is the top view right okay so students that was all from my set today i hope that this content has added value to your knowledge of engineering drawing and uh, yeah if you've got any doubt or query write them down in the comment section below this is manas patnaik signing off take care have a nice day